now for us it's a real pleasure, a real privilege to introduce to you the four-time different individual world champion and the pride of Mexico, uh, Mr. Juan Manuel Marquez. Good afternoon, everybody. I feel very happy for being here again. Uh, I want to thank uh, for the support for Fernando Beltran, Bob Arum, HBO, for the support in me. Yeah, I want to thank uh, Bradley and Bradley team for this fight. Uh, this is a great opportunity for me. Always I think if, if I want to be the best, I need to win the best. And uh, it, well, the best is the champion. Uh, Bradley is a champion, I'm ready for the fight. Uh, the people will see in October 12, the people will see another great fight. Because his style and my style make a great fight. And I, I train very hard. Uh, I, I feel very focused for this fight, and uh, I, I'm ready for, for October 12. I need training very, very hard in my strength. I train very hard in my speed, specifically in my speed. This is this is the most important for this fight, the speed. And I, I, I and, and I start training very hard, and I I be very focused for 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 the fight. Uh, in the, the, uh, it's, this belt is beautiful. This belt is beautiful. Um, Everybody knows what happened in, in November 2011. Uh, this belt should be mine, but in October 12, I'll be, I'll be back for the belt. This is my, my, my motivation, and I feel very happy for, for this opportunity. Thank you, thank you, and good afternoon. So it's a pleasure now to bring to the microphone the undefeated champion. A real credit to the sport of boxing, Tim Desert Storm Bradley. First and foremost, I want to thank God for allowing me to be here today. Um, I want to thank uh, my wife, my kids, my family uh, for always supporting me and motivating me. Um, I also want to thank uh, Top Rank. Team Bradley, um, my whole team here, my father, Joel Diaz, Sam Jackson, James Rusley. Um, I want to thank my, my manager, Cameron Duncan, uh, for always believing in me. Um, also want to thank HBO, man. Um, becoming uh, actually a really good friends with HBO now. Uh, went down to visit uh, the HBO company in New York. It's an unbelievable experience, and uh, I think we have a newfound respect for one another. And uh, I want also want to thank uh, Marquez. Um, man, <laughs> it shows you what type of fighter and uh, what type of mentality this guy has. Uh, Juan Marquez, um, he's entering, I believe he's going to be 40 really soon, if he's not 40 right now. And his ability to, and, and his mental state, and, and wanted to fight the best. I mean, I mean, he's fighting as a young gun, uh, someone with lots of, lots of energy, someone that feels that he can win this fight, that I can beat him. Um, but he's willing to, to step up to the plate and step up to the challenge, man. And that, that shows you a lot about Marquez and what he wants and uh, how hard he's in the train for this fight. I mean, I'm so uh, pumped up right now, man. I, I can't believe that I'm here. Um, I'm so pumped up, and I, I can't wait to get back to the to the gym and start training and get ready to prepare for this fight. I know what I have in front of me. I know the obstacle that I have in front of me. I mean, it's going to be a tough, tough challenge. Don't get me wrong. I'm not taking Marquez for granted. I don't care about how old he is. I don't care about what he's done in the past. He's facing me now, and I'm facing him. So October 12th. I'm willing to endure so much pain that night to get a victory. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win that fight. I mean, a lot of people can say whatever they want about me, but one thing for sure they can say is that I'm a winner. And I love to win and I hate to lose, man. I cannot stand losing, all right? So when I get back and then I get in my training camp, I'm gonna train like no other. 
October 11th, when I step on that scale, everybody's gonna know I mean business. I am definitely going to hell and back and probably hell again for this fight. I am so pumped up, and this is an opportunity for me that I had in a pack out fight that slipped away due to the controversy to become a superstar in boxing and be a force to be reckoned with, to be recognized and have a position in boxing, and that didn't happen. But in this fight, it's gonna happen. It has to happen, without a doubt in my mind. It has to happen in this fight. Because I want to be a superstar in boxing, I want to be a big household name. All right, I'm a four-time world champion. That's what I am, four-time world champion. All right, and I still don't have a position in boxing yet. I should be on everybody's pound pound list, but after this fight, October 12th, I will be on everybody's pound for pound list, without a doubt. And I want to thank uh, Marquez, because I have something that he wants. And I'm glad that I have something that, that he has. I mean, he has this huge legacy. legacy. He's a legend, all right? He's a legend. It's not gonna come easy, but you know what? Nothing in life that you can get comes easy, guys. So thank you very much for all coming out, for everybody coming out. And uh, let's look forward to October 12th. Don't miss this fight, I'm telling you. Do not miss this fight. It's gonna be an unbelievable night. Thank you very much, Tim Bradley. Here with WB, WBO welterweight champion, Timothy Bradley. Now, Tim, you're coming off a brutal fight against Pro, uh, Provoknikov. Talk to us about this fight. You're going to be fighting in seven months. Is that enough time to heal? Uh, yeah, there's definitely enough, enough time to heal if you're doing the proper, uh, the, the proper uh, exercises to uh, help you and aid you, you know, uh, to heal. So, uh, and that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, uh, every day I've been better and better, and uh, you know, by the, by the time fight the fight time come, I'll be 110 percent. You know, you were talking on that podium to the press, to the media. You seem as though you want to prove something to the boxing world. Always, I'm always having to prove something, man. Always, uh, each time out, and it, it probably won't even stop here, man. And uh, by beating Marquez, I think that definitely will lead me to stardom and uh, get what I deserve, man. My whole life. Let's talk about Marquez's strengths and weaknesses. What do you see in his arsenal? Uh, I mean, he's a total package, man. I mean, really has limited re uh, limited uh, mistakes in the ring. He limits his mistakes in the ring. Uh, he's a very good counter puncher. I mean, uh, he throws a jab coming forward, throws a jab backing up. You know, he has every punch there is uh, in boxing. I mean, this guy is a, a true legend. So, I mean, you know, um, I'm banking on my speed. I'm banking on my... Uh, banking on um, me being quick, uh, my movement. I'm banking on uh, also him to, you know, age. I'm thinking about age, man, as well. So I think that will uh, hopefully be a factor in the fight. And that's another thing you mentioned uh, during the press conference. You say he's going to be 40 years old. He's 39 right now. You feel you're going to be able to capitalize on those flaws, those mistakes that he makes in the ring? Oh, uh, yeah. I just think that I'm, I'm a lot quicker than him. And... Uh, you know, I think that uh, I'm, I'm very smart, too, in the ring, and um, I think that I'll be able to uh, possibly outbox him. You know what I mean? There's going to be times when I have to stand there and fight. Uh, I'll be ready for that. I'll be, be uh, prepared for every aspect of the ring uh, once I get in there with him, man. Uh, I'm telling you, man, I, I'm going to train so hard for this fight because, uh, like I said, I was, supposed to, I was supposed to get the credit for beating Manny Pacquiao, but that didn't happen. So um, this is another opportunity for me to shine and show the world what I'm made of. And I definitely want to be one of the best fighters in the world. And this is uh, another opportunity. And this time, it's not going to slip away, man. This time, it's not going to be a, a doubt. Who's the better fighter, Manny Pacquiao, Juan Manuel Marquez, or will you have an answer for us on October 12th? Um, I, I don't know who's the better fighter. I mean, I've been in the ring with Pacquiao. Um, he's a really good fighter, crafty fighter. Uh, uh, very fast, very strong, um, but uh, you know I have to wait and see. And once I get in the ring with Marquez, and see how he is. My last question to you: What do you think about Manny Pacquiao facing Brandon Reels? What are your thoughts on that fight? I think uh, Brandon Reels is a sitting duck for Pacquiao. I think Pacquiao will be able to unleash the raft on, on Brandon Reels. Um, you can never count Brandon out because he's uh, he's a tough, gritty kid, and uh, Brandon always uh, comes ready and determined, and he has knockout power. But I just think that, you know, for me being in the ring with, 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 uh, with Manny Pacquiao and seeing what he does, he likes when guys come at him. And if Brandon comes at him, man, he's going to get a whirlwind of in trouble. Maybe in the near future, if you guys are both victorious, we'll see you in the ring again in rematch. 
Oh, absolutely. That's that's definitely a goal. He's definitely uh, a guy that I definitely need to get on with again. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. But right now, Marquez is uh, is, a, is a tough fight, and I have a tough obstacle in front of me. So I'll be prepared and ready, like always. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you.